Meet Jerry. Hi! Today is one of the happiest days of his life. He just found out that he was admitted into his three favorite colleges. Georgetown. Woo! NYU. Woo! And UC Berkeley. Woo! Now, Jerry is discussing with his dad what options to consider so that he can choose the best college for himself. So, son, you gotta choose a college. What, what are you thinking about? Well, I was wondering, how are the football teams? Uh, how's the weather there? How's the party scene? How affordable is it? And what will be my return on investment? Choosing between colleges with price tags of $50,000 and above a year can be a very difficult decision for an 18-year-old high schooler to make. So in this video, we will help Jerry make an informed choice by covering factors to consider when choosing college and how these factors play into helping us make a cost-effective decision on the right college to attend. One of the first factors to consider is the cost of attendance. Explicit cost of attendance include tuition costs, the interest on your student loan debts, room and board fees, supplies and technology, textbooks, and clothing and dorm essentials. However, there are also implicit costs of attendance as well. These include the sacrifices your family may have to make to help subsidize your education, the work-study job you may have to take up, or the losses you may suffer on your standard of living. Miscellaneous costs must also be taken into account. The food, transportation, as well as wants of the area all add up during a college education. Finally, we must also consider the return on investment, or ROI, of the college that you choose. ROI is based on your major, the prestige of the school, as well as the resources your university may provide. ROI determines what you will make after you graduate in relation to the cost of your education, and should be a major factor when considering education as an investment and not a purchase. For me, these costs vary widely between the colleges I am considering. As an intended undergraduate business major whose household holds a $25,000 disposable income a year for college, I must calculate my personal annual total cost for each university by considering my initial cost of attendance, the financial support I'll be getting from my family and the school, as well as the return on investment of my attendance. Now when we consider the finances of our three different college options, the first thing we look at is the initial cost of attendance. Georgetown University will cost Jerry $69,770 per year. And this includes all the different costs we discussed earlier in the video. NYU will cost him $71,754, and UC Berkeley's out-of-state tuition will cost him $60,100. The next thing that we consider when making this decision is the financial support we have, whether it be through our family disposable income or financial aid and grants offered by the school or the federal government. For Georgetown, we have $45,000 worth of um, support, for NYU, $40,000, and for UC Berkeley, $27,000. Now finally, the last thing we have to consider is that Jerry's going in as a business major, and we look at the return on investment in 20 years for having a business degree from these three schools. Georgetown, over the course of 20 years, returns $979,000 in average salary. NYU returns $684,000 in average salary return on investment, and UC Berkeley, offers $1,170,000. All right, son, so which of your options is the most financially sound college option? Well, Dad, I think Georgetown would be the best. NYU? Okay, okay, UC Berkeley. But why? I don't get it. So you see, son, the initial cost of attendance for UC Berkeley is lower than Georgetown and NYU. Okay. However, the financial aid provided by Georgetown and NYU is significantly higher, which balances out the costs, making Georgetown and NYU cheaper per year. However, then we consider the return on investment over the course of 20 years, and you see that UC Berkeley's return on investment over the course of 20 years with a business degree is significantly higher than Georgetown and NYU, 
which essentially allay the extra costs you paid without the financial support the private institutions provide. Wow, Dad, you're really smart. Thank you. Aww.